Modest the peril. Does what you wear really matter if God sees your heart? Whether you wear this or this. We're in a new generation with new fashion, right? Well, now that we've got our feelings out of the way, let's delve into the Word of God. It is a true statement that God looks at the conditions of our heart and the state of our soul. But the thing is, people don't see that. You see, for us, we make judgments of a person's character, their behavior, and how they present themselves outwardly. Which is why we see Paul write this to Timothy when he addresses the women, saying, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Because back then, just like now, there was always such a focus on emphasizing one's outer appearance. You might ask, why is that an issue? Because then our standards start from what people think of us in a society that has trends that changes almost every day, making it harder and harder for an individual to keep up with. And with the advancement of technology comes a more needful and greedy eye. From younger people using Botox, makeup or implants to enhance certain body parts to the more elderly people chasing the next product that will make them look 20 years younger in order to keep their youth. So what's the standard then? Is it this? Or this? Let's pull the handbrake on being fashion police for a second and let's focus on a more agreeable standard. Modesty. Modesty is a term that's defined by good behavior. And if there's one thing that we understand with our behavior is that it's a manifestation of our thoughts, of desires, of continuous pattern, which is what shapes the way we conduct ourselves. So then why is this important? Well, in the book of Peter, he addresses the same type of issue. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 to 4 says this, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. We're now understanding that the beauty of a person does not lie on the outermost parts of a person what's instilled within but let me also add this to the equation this isn't just for your own sake to please the way you feel but also as critical thinkers of the faith we ought to behave ourselves in a manner that's spiritually provoking to not just good works but godly behavior but sometimes what we tend to do is compete with each other to outdo each other to eventually be a stumbling block to each other and the Bible is explicit on brothers and sisters not being the type of person that will cause a distraction to all people. Whether they are coming to the faith or they're growing in the faith, because the gospel that people read from us usually is shown in our actions and not the many words that we profess. So when it comes to the topic of modest apparel, it's not about asking whether you can wear this or that, but rather having the heart to help your neighbor by being the best possible example spiritually mentally inwardly and yes outwardly jesus asks the questions to his disciples whom do you say that i am and peter with many other people that jesus came into contact with were able to identify him by his behavior and who he represented let me ask you a few questions who do people say that you are do people know who you represent and does your mirror reflect your image or his be blessed <laughs> <laughs>